Hey YouTube, what is going on? This is iTalk. Here, and in today's video, we have a brand new video. So really quickly, on the update with the fishing contest, for the most fish caught, I was number one, and then the leaderboards updated, and now I am just not even on the list, so feels bad. I thought I could win it, but I guess I can't, but I might try a little bit to try to get back on that number one spot, but if I can't win it, oh well. So today we're going to be talking about leaked skins. A lot of you guys really wanted me to talk about the leaked skins that we got this update, and I'm going to do that right now. So the first thing we have here is the Burning Beast Glider. So this is another legendary glider that, I mean... I don't even know what you can say about this. It's like a satanic glider. That's as broad as I can be with this. It looks insane. Like this is definitely worthy of a legendary glider. And we don't really get many of these. So when we see this, I think this is kind of a big deal for us. But at the same time, gliders are so pointless in the game now with the lack of even using a glider. Unless you play Team Rumble, but the majority of people do not play Team Rumble. It's a really nice glider. But if this is going to be a $15 glider... Are people really going to buy this? Because again, there's really nothing that really makes you need to use your glider anymore unless you play Team Rumble or you play certain modes in creative. But besides that, like in the main game, there's really no use for gliders anymore. It's usually just umbrellas now because there's just so... Because buying gliders nowadays is just so pointless now. But it's still really cool. I will definitely get it when it comes out. It seems a little extreme for Fortnite as well. Like This feels like it's not made for Fortnite because it doesn't really have like a cartoony vibe to it at all. It's really intimidating kind of sort of. So I don't know. It's cool, but like it just feels kind of out of place for this game. So next thing we have here is the Brilliant Bomber Bundle. Now, the Brilliant Bomber Bundle has has two bundles it's actually the bash bundle and the brilliant bomber bundle and the brilliant bomber bundle comes with a brilliant bomber skin the bash skin from the vote the llama corn shield back blink for bash and the razor smash harvesting tool now we've seen three of these things already in the community vote a while ago but we got this new skin brilliant bomber here and i'm going to be really honest with you guys this easily could have been an edit style. I want to make a video talking about what skins deserve edit styles and what don't deserve edit styles as separate skins because that's an extremely hot topic in the community right now due to the new Triggerfish skin. People are still saying that that should have been an edit style. I said earlier it should have been an edit style, but I want to talk about that in a separate video. But Brilliant Bomber, there is really not that much going on with her. It's a simple color palette swap with the clothing and the hair, and that is essentially it. The only thing that makes me okay with them making this a separate skin is that they have it in a bundle with the bash skin which is a great idea i don't know anyone that's going to buy the brilliant bomber skin by itself if they already own the beach bomber if they already own the bright bomber skin like it there's just not enough going on with it that makes you think that this could have easily been a separate skin for bright bomber it just looks way too similar i love the colors i really like the dark blue that they're going on with here because it looks a lot more vibrant than the bright bomber but still it's like this man i don't know how i feel about it so that's why i'm glad it's a part of a bundle because I don't see anyone buying this separately if they already own a Beach Bomber or Bright Bomber skin. Next we have here is the Dominion skin, and it comes with a back bling flame sigil. And honestly, this back bling is great. It reminds me a lot of the one that we got for Halloween this year, and it looks really cool. I like how this one feels like it's going to be more universal than the one we got for Halloween, because that one is like a bright pink, and that might not go so well with a ton of other outfits, but with the flame sigil, this could pretty much go on anything because it, of the natural color it has. And Dominion itself is a male malice skin, and I think this skin looks great. I, I'm surprised this isn't a legendary skin, in my opinion. This is a really well-done skin, and I cannot wait to get in the item shop. Next skin we have here is the Kuro Homura skin, and it comes with the backlink Fire Vortex. Now this one looks pretty interesting, and it turns out that this skin is actually a part of the Battle Breakers roster, and I will get into another Battle Breakers skin that we will be seeing in the item shop soon, so I know you guys will be excited about that. But this skin to me, again, just does not feel like it belongs in this game. It feels way too out there for Fortnite. It's not cartoony. I don't know what this skin is supposed to be. I don't really... I don't understand the vibe with this skin. It looks cool. I can't wait to get it. But does it really match the theme for Fortnite? I don't really think it does. And now that I think about it, I just looked this up. The Burning Beast Glider is for the male Malice skin. It's actually not for Battle Breakers because I said earlier, I don't think that this glider really goes with the Fortnite cartoony aesthetic. And this skin definitely does not fit that for me at least. So it makes sense that it's so out of place because of it being a part of the Battle Breakers roster. But I am excited to get it. 
like I said, it just looks out there, I guess you could say. Next skin we have here is the Globe Shaker skin, and this comes with a backlink ornament. And this skin is pretty much the slushy soldier skin, except there's a lot of assets flipped. I mean, they almost have the same featured pose for Pete's sake, but the skin itself is really cute. I love the sweater. Yuletide Ranger and Nogops have my favorite sweater slash jean combo in the game. It just feels homey. It feels very Christmas-like. And the back bling is really nice. This will pretty much go with anything, really. I mean, you might want to keep it Christmas themed, but even if you don't want to do that, this thing is pretty universal. The skin itself is great. Cannot wait to get it. Love the colors. Not much else to say about it. Next we have is this Skalaxa skin, which comes with the back bling Spinal Blade. This skin actually reminds me of the Cloak Star skin. And you know what? It looks great. It almost looks like it is him, but like he turned into a snake. The lime green and the scales on his body are really cool. And the back bling itself is amazing. I mean, I know we've had so many of these back blings, like the Overtaker and the Whiteout back bling with the sword on the backpack, but this looks awesome, man. We don't really get a lot of neon green looking skins either, and I'm just super excited to get this skin. So hopefully this comes out sometime in the near future. Next skin we have here is the Turn skin, and it comes with the back bling Hollow Horn. Right off the bat, this skin looks like Bloodhound from Apex Legends. To me, it does. It's not really a bad thing. I just something I noticed here. And it looks great. It, again, this doesn't feel like a Fortnite skin, but I feel like this one has a little bit more personality to it. I feel like the skin could actually fit with the Fortnite theme with how cutesy it looks with like the mask. And it just, with the feature pose as well, it just looks so subtle it looks nice it look like it almost looks like one of those pictures you would see with like a lo-fi 24 7 radio video you know what i mean like it almost kind of reminds it gives me that vibe i guess you could say so very calming very nice i really do enjoy the skin i can't wait for all these skins to come out but turns is definitely going to be one i'm looking out for Next skin we have here is the Bundle skin, and it comes with a back bling Gwinnie, and the skin itself is really nice. It's animated. It has, like, that mark on the above the eye as well as above the ear, which kind of symbolizes it being, like, a kawaii slash anime skin because this is a very obvious trope. It's adorable. Like, again, it, could this have been an edit style for Cuddle Team? No, 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 no. I don't think so. There's a lot going on with this skin that makes it different enough for me to say that this could be a separate skin. I cannot wait to get the skin either. And the back bling kind of reminds me of the China exclusive penguin back bling, except it's a lot more detailed. This looks like this could be universal as well. Put this on anything. Put it on the most menacing skin you could think of, and I think it would still look really adorable. So love this skin, love this. One thing you'll notice here with this entire list of leaked skins and stuff, I love everything in this. Like everything in this feels like a lot of work was put into it. Again, the artists for Fortnite are some of the most creative I've ever ever seen ever in any video game and they just keep knocking it out of the park with these skins. Next skin we have here is the Hush skin and it comes with a back bling black stripe. Now right off the bat Hush is definitely one of my personal favorites from this. If you couldn't tell it looks like a goth character and again I feel like someone on the art team is a goth person themselves or they're somewhat seen because it's I feel like there's no coincidence that we keep getting these skins with like this eyeliner and with this like intimidating look to them. I like this skin a lot. This skin is really cool. Back bling, kind of boring. Not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of the back bling, but the skin itself looks amazing. Cannot wait to get this one. Next skin we have here is the Death Dealer skin, and this comes with a back bling Wave Piercer. Now, this skin is actually the male counterpart to the Wave Breaker skin, which is the starter pack skin for this season, and it looks fine. I like it. I have no issues with it. It looks maybe a little plain. I mean, it's just a male version of Wave Breaker, but it's still really cool in my books, and I cannot wait to get this skin. Next skin we have here is the Stingray skin, and this comes with a back bling Manta, and this is easily one of my favorite skins in the leaks. I love the chain mail that's on its head. It's very new for the game. It's very new in terms of cosmetics. It looks great. Love the look of it. It kind of does look like Thelonious from Shrek, which a lot of people have pointed out already, but it does kind of look like him. It, the one thing that's kind of weird is that you'd think with like a, ma a face this intimidating, with a mask this insanely cool looking, you would expect him to look really bulky, but he's actually like really skinny. It's kind of 
off-putting to me a little bit. But regardless, I love this skin. I cannot wait to use it. I'm really excited to see what the ADS looks like with this skin because of how slim the head is. So I just cannot wait for it. So yeah, and the back bling itself is pretty cool as well. Next skin we have here is the Autumn Queen skin, and it comes with a back bling, Autumn's Mantle, and this skin should have been an epic. There's no way you could tell me that this skin should be a rare. There's so much detail with this skin, and it's kind of weird because we're going into the winter time, but even though this is the Autumn Queen, I really like it. It reminds me a lot of Frozen. It reminds me a lot of Anna. Like, I feel like that was the main goal they were trying to go with here. Kind of looking like a Frozen character because you already have Glimmer. You might as well put Glimmer and the Autumn Queen together. I think that'd be... I actually kind of want to see how that would look in game. Those two together. I feel like that'd be a really good, like, duo pairing skin set you could possibly run. The skin itself looks really nice. And I also really like the cape as well. It's just a reskinned Magnus cape, but it still looks amazing. It looks so beautiful. And again, I'm th again, they just keep outdoing themselves with these skins. Like, I can't get over how much I really do like these skins. Next skin we have here is the Wrangler skin, and this comes with a back bling saddlebag. And he looks interesting. I'm not gonna lie. He seems kind of, I don't know. Like, I like the homier looking skins, like the jeans, the plaid he's got going on, the glasses are unique. It's interesting, right? Like, this is something we don't really usually see here in the game. And again, I'm just excited to see whenever it comes out. Next skin we have here is the Riley skin, and this comes with the back bling ghostly. And this, oh, I don't know how I feel about this one, because this one has the same head, same headphones, same hat, same mask as the Waypoint skin. This is really close to being like, oh, this could have been an edit style for me at least. And it's still a good looking skin. Like I like how they didn't just completely copy paste her. Like they actually gave her a different body, different jacket. So in that department, it does look rather different, but I wish they changed a little bit more with the head. Like giving her glasses would have made her look a little bit more unique than just, oh, we just took the head of waypoint and put in on another skin that's all i'm saying with that it still looks good and i'm excited to get it as well and then lastly what we have in the recent leaks is the razor skin and this comes with the back bling fierce cloud puff now a lot of people have always assumed that this was just going to be a save the world skin in the beginning it was going to be a save the world skin if you get to level 20 in battle breakers you get the skin for free and save the world which is fantastic but i've always been thinking like why wouldn't they sell this in the item shop it would make no sense to me because it looks so good why would they waste their opportunity on that and with the confirmation of this being in the leaks for it being in the item shop and not only that we also have that other skin that we talked about here the kura horomura however you pronounce that that's also from battle breakers so i feel like these two skins will be sold together in the item shop which is fantastic this pretty much confirms we are getting the razor skin in battle royale and i'm very happy about that now the main thing i've been hearing about this skin is that like oh it's green like in the leaks and it says that it's a green skin but the back bling is blue something tells me the skin is not going to be 800 v bucks it looks way too good to be an uncommon this could have easily been a legendary in my opinion it just looks so good but to me this might just be a rare skin and it might just be a mishap on the back end of Fortnite with this one, but the skin itself looks great. The back bling looks great. I cannot wait to get this skin. And that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about today, guys. I didn't really want to go over the harvesting tools because I don't know what they sound like, and I'm really excited to just hear them in game. So it's kind of hard for me to say like, oh yeah, it looks nice, but the sound like, cause I don't, I can't, I can't hear it, so I, I don't know. So I just wanted to talk about the skins, back blings, all that good stuff with you guys. So I'm very excited for the cosmetics coming up. I hope you guys are excited too. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed, let me know with the like, but only if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and turn on the bell. Just go my latest uploads and comment down below. What are your opinions I want to talk about today? Are you excited for these skins? Because I know I am. Definitely let me know in the comments. Follow me on Twitter at iTalkFortnite. Follow me on Instagram, I can talk Fortnite. And if you would like to use me for support or creator, my code is iTalkFortnite. So thank you guys so much that use that code. Seriously, you really do help me out a ton. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you all later. See ya.